Hello, my friends. My name is Gene Arnold, and thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Regular Guy Mountain Biking. So this time around, we're going to do a video on another bike build. Behind me is a Santa Cruz Tallboy, and we're going to take a look at it, go through all the parts, and talk about why I just built up this brand spanking new bike. All right, we got a lot to talk about, so let's get into the nitty gritty. First things first, the tall boy. Why do I have a tall boy? What's going on? I got a lot of bikes, now I got another bike. What's going on with the tall boy? If you follow the channel, you're probably familiar with the pumpkin bike. That was a build that I did a little while ago. Um, minimal travel, trail, more X, XC type of bike. Great bike, really, really like that bike but it was a little bit tough on my back and I wanted to try to figure out what I could put together that would be close to as efficient as that bike, but something a little easier on my body. Now the Santa Cruz tall boy has gotten raving reviews for years. It's, it's a really, really good bike. It's known for climbing. Uh, it's got some pretty, you know, enough travel to do some pretty crazy stuff here and there, but all in all for an all arounder, the tall boy has gotten great reviews, so I decided to give this bike a try. So fine, let's speed things up a little bit. We know why I went with the tall boy and why this bike is here. So now let's talk about why this particular tall boy is here. I went to my local, talked to my buddy Jason at Sussex Bike Shop, and we, we again, we, we worked out the tall boy. That was the bike to go with. He had a tall boy there, and I messed around with it, very similar to this one. But the thing is, it was a complete bike, was not cheap, and it had some components on it that I was going to replace regardless. I'm, uh, I wasn't a fan of the dropper seat post and the drivetrain. Those parts are gonna come off, so I kind of was talking to Jason and saying, look, if I bought that bike, I'd literally be asking you to take those parts off and putting these parts on anyway. So buying that particular bike wasn't gonna be the way for me to go. So after ruling out buying that particular bike, we still were pretty solid on the tall boy. I was looking into maybe getting a new one and it was gonna take a while for that one to come out there. This is the one you're seeing is a 2022 and the 2023 is the one that has the pocket in it and a little bit different geometry, but nothing major. In fact, if you do some research on the two bikes, you'll find that they are really neck and neck. If you have the one that I have, would you upgrade to the newer one? Most people would say it wasn't really worth it. So the one I have, the frame I have, is pretty solid, pretty up to date, and definitely one that people would like to have. So what ended up happening was Jason happened to have this large CC tall boy frame in the, uh, in the, in the archives of stuff that he's got. He said, you wanna buy the frame? I said, I wanna buy the frame, so I bought the frame, there's the frame. So now, it was just a matter of getting the parts. I had a lot of parts from the pumpkin bike and a lot of new parts that I'll be going into right now. So long story short, finally we're getting to the good parts, the parts. That's where this bike came from and why I'm actually looking at riding a tall boy now. The first couple of rides have been pretty cool and I'll talk about them in just a minute. All right, so now that you know the backstory around why this bike is here, why I picked the tall boy, why I have this particular tall boy here, let's start getting into the parts that you are interested in, the parts. Let's get going. First thing I'm gonna cover are all the parts from Pacific Northwest, because there are quite a few, so I'll just group them all together. We've got a Pacific Northwest handlebar set, right? So we've got the bars, we've got the grips, we've got the stem. Those are all from Pacific Northwest. I'm also running the Pacific Northwest dropper seat post and the Pacific Northwest dropper seat post lever. So a lot of Pacific Northwest on this bike. I ride a lot of Pacific Northwest products. I like the products a lot. Things work out well with that company. So big surprise, Pacific Northwest throughout the bike. Continuing with the front, we've got our um, level, SRAM level brakes. They seem to be working out pretty good. Specifically, these are the level TL brakes, they're doing a decent enough job, so I'll stick with those for a while. Continuing with the front of the bike, the shifter is from Box Components, big fan of Box. I will have a complete Box video coming out really soon. Box has been wonderful to me. Box Prime 9, this is the, uh, the level uh, one shifter over here, and as well as the Box 1 drivetrain all together. I'll get into more detail in a moment. Fork, interesting thing about the fork. I had, hold on, 
I had this SR Sun Tour fork on it, the Axon, which has done very well by me on the pumpkin bike. I've got one on the D6 and I've got one on the bone shaker build. But this particular one, I think the cartridge might have gone because, again, bad back, wine, 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 gene. I gave this bike to my buddy Chris for a while to, to ride because I just couldn't ride. My back was hurting too much. And he absolutely hated it. I mean, Chris was, I think he was trying to be as polite as he could because he knew it was like my bike. But all in all, he just hated the bike. And it basically came because of the fork. That fork, I have to go and get it rebuilt. Uh, SR Suntour, no problem with SR Suntour. They said, no big deal. It's the cartridge. We'll replace the cartridge. No big deal, as you would expect from that company because they, they do back their riders and their product. But in the meantime, we stepped it up a little bit and went with an SR Suntour uh, Duralux 36. This fork is sick. This fork is so nice. I'll do a review on the fork. But once we put this baby on the bike, it just lit up. I mean, it, it, it felt like a couch. It was smooth. The thing's like butter. Um, it was needed. So once we made that switch and put this fork on the bike, it was just a godsend. All right, let's keep things going over here. I told you about the shifter. Let's kind of finish the drivetrain, right? Then we'll go into wheels and, and things like that. So the drivetrain is from Box, uh, the Box 1, right? The 9 is fine type of thing. So this is the Box 1 setup shifter. I've got the, oh, doing a little dance over here, the box one slash two setup here. So that means it's a box one shifter, box one chain, box one rear mech, but a box two cassette. Keeping things going, we've got a uh, SRAM um, dub crank set, okay, with the um, three tooth ring in the front. Went with a 30. Some folks will push a 32. I don't have the strength for a 32. So a 30 with the 50 pretty much gets me up everything. Plus you throw into the fact that this bike climbs like a freaking goat. It's just sick how great this bike climbs. This is a beautiful setup for me. Now on these cranks, surprise, surprise, I'm actually running some different pedals. Generally I'll run my, um, my catalyst pedals, right? And I've got them on most of my bikes, but I did want to try to mix things up a little bit and maybe do a review on something a little bit different. These are the new Wolf Tooth pedals. These are not cheap, and these are very, very, very high-end pedals. And you get a quality pedal for the price. A review is coming. I'll get to it. But I am doing some different pedals on this bike. Let's finish up the suspension. This, this frame came with the Fox Float DPS factory um, shock in here. It's high-end shock. Again, I got really lucky with this whole frame setup. So killer shock, really adjustable, has been working great. Again, this shock and the way that Santa Cruz does their VPP um, linkage, it just feels, just, just, it almost feels limitless. It feels way more than the travel that's actually on this particular bike. So that's pretty amazing how this whole thing's been working out pretty good so far. So what else do we have to cover? The wheels. We've got Santa Cruz Reserve carbon fiber rims. All right, uh, these aren't the highest, highest end ones, but they're pretty decent, right? The rims are good. On the actual wheels themselves, I've got my Trail King, uh, Trail King tires. They seem to be working really well for me lately. I've got these on a bunch of my bikes. What do I got over here? I got a 2.4 in the front and a 2.4 in the back as well. So what am I leaving out? I do have wheel inserts. The rim pack ones are inside of the front and the rear. They've been doing a good job, so they've been installed. Uh, first carbon, uh, carbon fiber wheel set, a little nervous, so I went the extra mile and made sure I put wheel inserts. I did throw on a bash guard. That worked out pretty well. And I think that's about it, right? We got a uh, WTB seat. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much the, that's pretty much the build. All right, cool. So now that we talked about the parts on this bike, let's talk about the build itself. The build went super smooth, right? One of the cool things about building your own bike is you can take the time to pick and choose the parts and make sure each thing is going to work 
together perfectly, right? You have a little bit of time, you can do a little research. So everything went together, honestly, without a hitch. It was a really simple and smooth build. And I, you know, I really don't have much to add on that, just that it went over uh, really easy. All right, so now let's talk about how does, it, how, does it, how does it ride, right? I mean, we build these bikes up, we like to use them. I've only gotten a couple rides on this bike so far. Again, my buddy Chris took it out for actually more than I have. And his first initial review of the bike was not positive. And again, a lot of that was because of the fork. Once we switched over the fork, everything was cool. To the point that Chris actually bought that tall boy that was in Jason's shop that I didn't buy. So he does like the bike. He's a solid rider. And in the end, the tall boy was the bike for him. And so he's got the one that I was looking at. So again, everything worked out cool. So eventually we'll get him back on this bike so we can test everything out with the fork. But to be honest, I didn't like the first ride when I took this bike out, but got this fork on it. The bike is riding beautifully. It was just out with it today. And it now it's soaking up everything just fine when it you know, bumps and jumps and it climbs amazing. I mean, if you haven't ridden a tall boy and just, just take this sucker up a hill, you just fly up hills. If you look at some of the reviews about this bike, a lot of people will agree that this bike climbs amazingly well. All right, folks, that's my latest build, the official Santa Cruz tall boy. I'm a very, very happy guy. It took a little while to get everything worked out, but it's tuned up nice. And I'm stoked to have this bike in my arsenal of bikes. As I always ask you, give me some comments. What do you think about building your own bike? Have you done it yet? When are you gonna do it? I'm thrilled with this one. Remember, I've done this one. I've done the Bone Shaker build. I've done the Pumpkin Bike build. I've got a Norco that's gonna get built in the spring. I really do like building bikes. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's definitely a rewarding experience, so you should give it a shot. This one came out great. You'll see a lot more about it. Keep the party on the pedals, my friends, and um, I guess I'll catch you later on. Bye-bye.